Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at an agreed upon procedures report, just like what we did with examinations and reviews as part of the attestation engagement. We explained the concept, then we looked at a report to see the end product. Well, this is the end product of an agreed upon procedures. Well, we're going to go over the report step by step and it's going to wrap up. It's going to summarize everything that we learned in the prior session about agreed upon procedures. The first thing I want to tell you is there's no standard report, just like with reviews, just like with examination. The AICPA don't have a standardized standardized report. However, they do provide several examples. So if you Google attestation engagement AICPA and you will go to their literature, you will see several examples. So I used one example to illustrate the concept. But I'm going to show you what are some of the common things that you would see in a report and it's a good review for agreed upon procedures. One, it has to have a title and it has to have the word independent. It's a reminder that we have to be independent. Remember, for an agreed upon procedures, we are not giving an opinion. We are not given a conclusion. We are given a finding. Nevertheless, although it's a finding, we have to be independent. We have to have the name of the addressee. Who is the addressee? Who are we, who are we addressing? Then, we're going to look, we're going to talk about the nature of the engagement. We have performed the procedures, agreed upon procedures and enumer enumerated below on the claims of creditors of Adam company. So you're going to see on the next slide, I have a list of steps. What are the enumerated below? You're going to see it in a moment, but we have to let you know the nature of the procedure. It's agreed upon procedure. Identify the subject matter. Well, on the claims of creditors of Adam company with the date set forth in the accompanying Schedule A. So this is the subject matter for our agreed upon procedures. Identify the specified parties. It's obvious we're going to have to identify the specified parties shortly, but we have to show them. Otherwise, you are agreeing with someone upon a procedures. Remember, Adam Company is responsible for the claims of the creditors of Adam Company. We're not responsible for that. Just want to make sure that they are responsible for that. Now we're going to talk about the procedures performed and that the and the parties specified parties agree to it. Adam Company has agreed to and acknowledged that the procedures performed are appropriate to meet the intended purpose of assisting the users in understanding the claims of creditors of Adam Company. So now we are talking a little bit more about what we are doing here. What's the intended process? Additionally, notice here. We have another party, non-participating party, the trustee of Adam Company. So you can add a non-participating party, but they also have to agree to and acknowledge that the procedures performed are appropriate to meet their purposes. So you can have you can have an agreed upon procedures with one party, then add another party to the re to the report as a user of that report, as long as that other party agreed to and acknowledge that the procedures performed are appropriate. So you have to tell this, tell us this. This report may not be suitable for any other purpose. So here we're starting to limit the report. We're going to limit it a little bit more later. So who's responsible for the subject matter? We said that Adam Company is. And now we're going to talk a little bit more about the procedures. The procedures performed may not address all the items of interest to a user of this report and may not meet all the needs of all users of this report. And as such, users are responsible for determining whether the procedures performed are appropriate for their purpose. So just telling you, be careful. Just it may not be good for all purposes. Non-participating party here is the trustee of Adam Company. Okay, and the users are responsible for the sufficiency of the procedures performed. And they have to tell us this in a written assertion as well. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now, remember we talked about the procedures below. We have to explain the procedures and here's what we did. List the procedures. The procedures could be part of the report itself, which is in this situation, part of the report itself, or it could be part of an appendix or attachment to the report. Here's what we did. The procedure and associated finding are follow. Imagine this is a long report, obtain a general ledger, 
obtain the claim form submitted by creditors using the claim obtained form obtain the procedures blah 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 these are the procedures that we went over we don't you know it could be different things for different agreed upon procedures we would say no exceptions were found as a result of this procedures we're not done yet we're gonna have to let you know that we followed AICPA standards we were engaged by Adam company this is the engagement party to perform this agreed upon procedure and conducted our engagement in accordance with the AICPA established attestation standard we were not engaged so notice here I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this because I believe that's important we have to say we did not do an examination we did not do a review which if we did we would express an opinion or a conclusion but we did not do that we, we tell you explicitly that we did not do that accordingly we did not express an opinion or a conclusion be careful had we perform additional procedures other matter might have come to our attention that would have been reported to you just so you know no examination no review okay if specialist is used we talk about the specialist of any materiality we'll talk about any materiality used any reservation concerning procedures or finding be careful if we if we if we did additional procedures we might have found something else again we would report again that we are independent again independence is important because this is an assurance service we have to be independent of Adam company at XYZ of Adam company the report notice here now we're going to restrict the report this is important agreed upon procedures is restricted because it's agreed upon between two parties the report is intended solely for for the information and use of Adam company and the trustee of Adam company the non-participating party and is intended to be and should be and should not be used by anyone other than the specified party this is how we restrict the report now if there is any other matter we need to emphasize we can have a additional paragraph and obviously we have a signature block what should you do now go to Farhat lectures and work MCQs this topic is important on the CPA exam most college courses they don't cover it but there you go you have it make sure you know the difference between reviews examination agreed upon procedures understand them look at the report to get the to get the full picture good luck study hard and stay safe